Hornet. So tell me, a talking cat and dog, a former Bond girl, and Ryan Reynolds, they're all in one movie. Well, sounds kind of crazy. It does. It is definitely, though. I actually got to talk to one of the stars of the film called The Voices, but first take a look at the clip. You're out, you league. Shush. Yeah, shut up, cat. Do you ever hear her voices? Not really. Jerry. Hey, Fiona. In her eyes, you're a ridiculous peasant. Kill her. And you will discover what it feels like to be truly alive. <laughs> Don't run! <laughs> Mr. Whiskers, he makes me do bad things. You totally stopped taking the pills, didn't you? Don't. What chai canoon chai canoon chai? Told me you're the girl in the shoe, lady. Look what you did to me. I'm so sorry. Jerry, you're a serial killer. No, he isn't. You seem a million miles away. I got a lot going on right now. Pretty bad situation, buddy. Me out to that. She makes me warm to skin. Well, as you can see, the former Bond girl, Gemma Arterton, has sort of lost her head in her latest role. That was a clip from the movie The Voices, where Gemma stars alongside Ryan Reynolds and Ann Kendrick. She joins me to talk about the horror comedy. And Gemma, us here uh, at Kagan in the uh, Morning Blend team, we've decided that this movie is kind of cross between Look Who's Talking To and Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Yeah, that's an interesting um, analysis. My, my version of that is Big Lebowski and Vertigo. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good combo as well. Uh, this movie is definitely just by the trailer. I know it opened in a lot of theaters, uh, you know, today, but it is absolutely hilarious. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the script is so original, and that's what I fell in love with when I first read it. It's so unique, and um, the writing is very witty, and and then there's this dark, gory horror story that goes through it as well. Um, so it's it's sort of when you watch it, it's you don't really know what, what to do, whether to laugh or be horrified. It's it's quite exciting when you watch it. Well, in Ryan Reynolds, his character, it's kind of hard. We watch him as, you know, he's this lovable guy. He's kind of quirky at the beginning. And like you said, it takes a dark turn, but it's kind of hard to still not love him even when it takes that dark turn. Yeah, it's, um, he, I have to say, that's not an easy thing to do as an actor, is commit, a, you know, commit a, the, a heinous crime like murder and still have the audience on your side and he plays Jerry with such charm and and vulnerability and like a child almost and uh, I think for Ryan it's one of his best roles ever um, he's really brilliant in it really brilliant well and for you we saw in the clip uh, you have to do some of your acting with no body <laughs> Yeah, that was so liberating because, you know, you could just be in your own clothes and, you know, I had, I had a, I had a, like a, a prosthetic on my neck so then I would, you know, go into a fridge or onto the kitchen table and it, I literally would just be a head like that and the rest of me was hidden and, um, and it was quite challenging because I still I had quite a lot of comic comedic scenes, but with just my head. So I had to really limit what I was doing um, physically. Um, but it was so much fun, and uh, I loved it. And there's a there's one scene where Ryan and I have a conversation, and my head is on the kitchen counter, and he feeds me breakfast, and he feeds me Fruit Loops. <laughs> It's really funny and silly. Well, at least you get Fruit Loops, even if uh, you're, you know, you're just the head that's, you know, talking to him. Because we see he's caring. Yes, yeah, caring. It's a good breakfast. I eat them. I eat them, but I don't know where they go because I don't have a body. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. That is a very good point. And of course, we see the the dogs are talking to him, and that's kind of why we said it's a look who's talking to kind of scenario. Yeah. Yeah, he um, the, the 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 dog and the cat um, that live with him are um, Mr. Whiskers and Bosco, and they are kind of like angel and devil in his mind. One Mr. Whiskers is kind of the bad, the devil in his ear, and Bosco is the good the the good um, 
good guy and he and Ryan actually voices the the voices for both of those characters as well um, and that's a little insider tip wow but yeah um, it was really good it was really good fun because we obviously had the real dog and cat on set um, while we were shooting and Ryan would be kind of doing their voices <laughs> it was so strange <laughs> but um, very very funny well, I can't wait to see this movie because, like you said, I'm sure the script was super intriguing. Just, you know, looking at the trailer, it was super intriguing. But before we even get to see you, you know, on the big screen, I know you're doing a lot of great stuff actually on stage right now also. I am. I'm At the moment, I'm in London doing a a musical called Made in Dagenham and that's just brilliant and so much fun and hard work and um, and then after that I'm doing a couple of movies and I have another couple of movies coming out this year so it's quite nice um, to have so much different stuff out there um, yeah well, you're a busy woman, and we can't wait to see in whatever you may uh, have coming out in the future. I want to thank you so much for joining me this morning, Gemma. Oh, thank you very much. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.